Hey folks, I'm happy to tell you that the Nerf Gelfire Challenge has officially come to a close. 30 days of posting, one TikTok per day, featuring the Nerf Pro Gelfire Mythic. This is a compilation of all 30 of my entries in one place if you are curious and don't want to view them on TikTok, but they are still there as well in a playlist. Some are better than others, some are short, some are longer. Enjoy, I guess. Nerf sent me their brand new Pro Gelfire Mythic Blaster in this awesome box. Fuel your fire! Gelfire rings! At the box, we've got the brand new Mythic with all the features here. It includes Mythic Blaster, Rechargeable Battery, Hopper, Trigger Lock, iPro. And there's a secret little compartment right here that holds all the fun extras, including a preloaded hopper, some extra Gelfire rounds, the eye protection charger, and the battery. Thanks, Nerf, for sending this out. Turning off the light. Nerf style. Gel fire mythic chrono test. We'll start with single fire. All right, full auto. Because they didn't hit a hard surface, the gel balls are still intact. I can reuse them. Life hack. Time to grow some gel fire rounds. Three to four hours later. Gelfire Mythic in slow motion. The hopper on the Nerf Gelfire Mythic can hold up to 800 rounds, but I'm a skeptical person and I need to test that number for myself. One Gelfire round at a time. One, two, three, four, five. Forty-eight, forty-nine, uh, fifty. All right, let's call it right there. That is twelve hundred and fifty Nerf gel fire rounds. It's a little bit higher than the eight hundred advertised. I can't believe they wouldn't give us that exact number. You probably don't want to load it this high because that could cause some feeding issues because these gel fire rounds are super compact. Is that a little bit of room up top? 1,250, give or take. Oh, no. Are you winning, son? And I will see you next time at the bottom of a pool reviewing a gel ball blaster that I received for free because I love gel ball. Heh, <laughs> right, okay. Nerf kind of called my bluff on this one, but important PSA time. Do not actually use your gel fire mythic in a swimming pool. Do not put the hopper in a swimming pool to fill the gel fire rounds. Use clean water. Do not put the blaster in the pool. It could ruin the blaster overall. It could damage the battery. This is not a super soaker. This is the Nerf Pro Gelfire Mythic. Does that say Super Soaker? No. I have questions, and I need answers. How long does it actually take to empty the hopper on the Nerf Pro Gelfire Mythic? I've loaded it with about 800 rounds as advertised. We're going full auto. I'm gonna time it on my watch. Three, two, one. 
5x speed. Intense drilling sounds. Good enough. One minute and 40 seconds. That's a long time of continuous fire. Hey, Mr. Junior, you ready for dinner? You are going to love this. It's Nerf darts with a couple hyper rounds in it. <laughs> All right, fine. Um, ah, I know. All right, this one pumpkin flavored. <laughs> Man, you kids these days are so picky. I know what you want. Okay, here's the good stuff. Some official Nerf gel fire rounds. Mm. There's plenty more where that came from. I want to put an action camera on my Nerf Gel Fire Mythic, but where's the best place to do it? The most obvious spot would be right here on the very top. Problem is, I don't think I can see much of the blaster. You might be able to see the Gel Fire rounds come out, but you'd really have to angle down to see the front barrel of the blaster. So actually, I'm going to mount the camera right about here, or maybe even here. This way I can actually get the blaster in frame so you can see which blaster I'm using, you can see how much ammo I have left, much better angle. And it's very similar to the way I mounted a camera on my Mandalorian blaster. This is the way! Oh, oh yes, sorry! <laughs> Week two of the Nerf Gelfire Challenge is complete. Time to crown the $2,000 winner and congratulations to our Week two winner. I am so pumped for Week what? three and to see what you all create. <laughs> wow. It's not a super soaker. Keep it dry. Oh man. We are halfway through the Nerf Gel Fire Challenge and I have been dubbed the week two winner, which means a lot to me. Even more so, today is my birthday. Thank you, Nerf. Now I gotta, I gotta clean up here. Gel Fire Mythic, 1v1. <laughs> something in the closet. What do you want? Nope. I was reading through the Nerf Pro Gel Fire Mythic instructions and then I started reading through the Nerf Gel Fire Mythic instructions and well then I started reading through the Nerf Gel Fire Mythic instructions and then I started reading through the Nerf Gel Fire Mythic instructions and wait what, what was I doing again? Oh, right. played around with the gel fire mythic for a bit I've actually noticed a few helpful arrows on this blaster on the bottom of the handle where the battery goes you can see an arrow that actually aligns from the handle to the battery itself 
This means that when you're putting a battery back in, you cannot align it the other direction because as you can see, the arrows are not actually pointing towards each other. You have to make sure that they point towards each other and it'll lock into place. In a similar way, at the very top, you can see there's an arrow for where the hopper is supposed to go. And the two arrows should align perfectly so that you can close it up and lock it into place. On the front of the blaster, there's a lonely arrow that I think is just meant to align with this seam when you lock the barrel into place. Let's say you find yourself in an unfortunate situation where you misplace your Gelfire Mythic hopper. Uh oh. Well, fear not. You can still just single load it if you have a nice and easy source for grabbing Gelfire rounds. One at a time. Perfect. Or you could just buy a new hopper online or in stores. Pretty cups. I spent over 20 minutes individually loading gel fire rounds into the Mythics hopper. The answer was about 1250. But what if we could do a slightly easier method that took a little less time? And all it will take is a little math. I'm gonna fill this hopper with water all the way to the top. All right, we'll call that good. And now I will pour out the hopper into this measuring cup. The Mythic hopper looks to hold between one and one third and one and a half cups of water. To minimize the amount of counting, I'll take one teaspoon, get myself one nice little teaspoon of gel fire rounds, pour them out here. Without too much overflow, a teaspoon holds about 20 gel fire rounds. So the hopper volume was just under one and a half cups, so I'm gonna say 1.4. Number of gel fire rounds per teaspoon, 20 rounds. 48 teaspoons in one cup, time for some multiplication. 48 times 1.4 times 20, 1,344 rounds. And if we wanted to be more conservative and say it was only 19 rounds per teaspoon, then we would get 1,277 rounds, which is not too far off of the 1,250 counted by hand. Donut. Mythic. Friends be like, whoa! Oh. <laughs> what is the Mythic's favorite dessert? Gel Auto. Mm. Or like Gel Full Auto. Mm. What do you call a Nerf Blaster that wants more capacity like the Mythic? Gel Us. Whew. Who is the Mythic's favorite Renaissance painter? Michael Angelo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bad punts. Bad punts. Playa one. Playa two. Which do you choose? When the Nerf Gelfire game is over. But you have 10,000 Gelfire rounds left. One more? Full auto only? Full auto only. Nice.
guys. Hey, can I have some of those? 